I was really lucky that when I was uh, starting out, um, I was the president of the AIJ Los Angeles chapter, and Saul Bass was on my board of directors. Saul was incredibly friendly, completely generous, always willing to help, willing to champion young designers. And I remember talking to Saul and asking, you know, the question, when should I start my firm? And he said, there's never a perfect time. It's like getting pregnant. It's never just the right time. You're just gonna do it or you're not, um, which I did. The day that we opened our office, the got the phones plugged in. The first call was from Saul. And, and he called and said, you know, like, I just wanna congratulate you. And um, so I'm proud that you're doing this. And what can I do for you? Like, do you need, do you need any help? Do you need some clients? What do you want? And I said, I just need your advice. The best advice he gave me was hire a business consultant more expensive than you think you can afford, which I did. And he was 100% correct because graphic design is a business and having someone really smart about that helped a lot. Um, he also said triple your fees, which strangely enough, I did, and that worked too. Um, so his general attitude about the community though was really to be, be there and be generous and helpful. And I know that some designers as they mature can be more and more closed and against new ideas or new voices or, oh, those darn young people, what are they up to now? But Saul was the opposite. He was, I wanna see what's new. I wanna see what you're working on. I wanna hear how you did it. And that was, he was truly interested. And, and I love that. And it's sort of a great role model. So, you know, as, as I move on in years, I remember that. Like I can be closed off and kind of cranky, or I could be like Saul and say, well, it, embrace it, you know, help the next generation and enjoy the amazing things that they're doing. So how did Saul help my career specifically? Beyond the amazing advice and just the general like way of being, um, the best help he gave directly happened about 20 years after he died. Um, after Saul passed away, he had, unknown to me, told his client, he, he was on the board of directors of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, and he said, no, you should hire, hire these people. They're really good. And it didn't happen then, but 20 years later, they actually contacted us and said, we need a new identity. We've never had an actual logo. Can you help come on board and, and do this with us? Um, you know, it really comes from Saul's recommendation and, you know, it's sort of been in the back of our minds for 20 years. So I did. And one of the things that I really liked about that project was designing the, the, the identity for the Academy, which was obviously a statuette. Um, and I hired one of the great letter form designers of the 20th century, Doyle Young, to design the shape of the thing. Um, and it was Doyle's last project before he passed away. And he said it was his dream job. He'd always wanted it. And then the typography I chose based on Saul's design that he had used for the movie Spartacus, the title sequence for that. And I felt like that was a good homage to Saul. Their wordmark was a Saul Bass wordmark um, 20 years later. 